Next we'll be looking at the workflow scanning. You may actually have some templates here to choose from depending on what your system administrator has configured for you. In our case, we're actually going to scan right to our USB stick. Otherwise, it could be to your network, to a particular folder. You'll have to check with your system administrator. So in our case, we're going to choose scan towards your USB stick. So the machine is indicating that you need to place your stick right into your multifunction device. So at this point, you can take your document, we've got a two-sided document, simply place it either in the document handler or on the glass and simply press start. You do have options. You can choose to force your machine to scan in black and white, otherwise it is set at auto detect normally. Right next to that, if ever you have a two-sided document, you can indicate here that it's two-sided, like in our case here. And then right next to that, you'll find the original type. By default, it's set at photo text. You can switch it right to photo if you've got a photograph you'd like to scan, or you can switch it also to text. Also, if you do a lot of scanning, perhaps you find it easier to name your file from here before actually sending it. So you could come here, say, file name. Press on the little C or the X here to erase what's already there, which is doc. So you can name it whatever you like. and press OK. So when you receive your uh, file, it will already be named. In the second tab, the advanced settings tabs, you'll find the resolution. You'll also find if ever you need to lighten or darken your image. So we have it set at 200 normally. Most of the time it's set at 300. You can actually bring it all the way up to 600, but you have to be careful. It's also going to increase the size of your file, so you want to keep that in mind. In your third tab, the uh, Layout Adjustment tab, you'll find the Original Size feature. You're going to come here and indicate that you've got mixed, sizes, mixed size originals. If ever you have your 8.5 by 11 mixed with your 8.5 by 14, or your 8.5 by 11 mixed with your 11 by 17. Otherwise, what's going to happen, the scan will be fine, it's just that it will all be on the larger size. So if it's important for you that the machine really scan and leave your, uh, your documents in the same size as your originals, for your file, you really want to make sure that you come here and indicate that you've got mixed sizes in your layout adjustment tab. Right next to that, we'll find the filing options. So in here, you'll find your file format. By default, what you're going to be receiving is a multi-page, image-only PDF. You do have options. You can switch your PDF to, rather than multi-page, to one file per page. That way, if you place four pages in your feeder, rather than receiving one PDF of four pages, you would receive four individual PDF files. Um, we'll switch that back. And if you switch it from image only to a searchable PDF, you'll then be able to indicate, first of all, in which language your document is written in. And you'll also be able to do some keyword searches in, the, in your PDF, as well as make text selections. And then once you have your text selections, you can actually do a right click with your mouse, copy that, paste it into Word if you like, and actually make any changes you'd like. It really becomes a Word document at that point. If you look at the left-hand side of your screen, you'll notice that, yes, by default, you are in a PDF. You do have other options. You can scan in a PDF A, which is for archiving. What this does, actually, it reduces the size of your file, and it also enables you to do keyword searches. Right underneath here, you'll find TIFF and the JPEG format, which is the photo format. In your last tab, the Job Assembly tab, you only have one feature. It's called Build Job. You're going to use Build Job if ever you have, for example, a book that you'd like to scan. You'd like maybe perhaps to have four or five pages from a book, but you don't want to have four or five different PDFs. You really just want it to be all into one. Or else you can we use the example if ever you have more than um, one uh, document that you can't place on either in the feeder or some of them happen to be one-sided, some of them two-sided. By turning Build Job on, you're actually telling the machine, okay, I'm giving you something, scan it, but don't send it right away. So I'll give you an example. Like this case, we've got a two-sided document. So we're going to place that right in. Okay, and just configure here that it happens to be two-sided. So we're going to press start. It's going to scan that one. So let's say our next uh, page happens to be one-sided. 
So for the next segment, you just would press Program Next Segment and switch it over to One-Sided. Again, you can place it in the handler or even on the glass, making sure to adjust your guides, and press Start. So you can actually really see, so segment one actually had two pages, segment two has one page, so on and so forth. If you've made a mistake, you can delete your segments. If not, if you're ready for the machine to send your scan, just say submit job, right up here. Submit job. Once you see the job is complete, you can go ahead and remove your USB key safely. And that's how you use the workflow scanning feature.